Hey guys, welcome back to House of a Daddy Beauty. I just wanted to come in and show you guys um, the way I re-moisturize my hair, okay? So on the cards that you'll receive with your little kit, which is right here, there's basic instructions on how to take care of your hair, like pretty much, not in detail, but <clears throat> meaning basically what you need to do <clears throat> and how you need to do things when it comes to taking care of your hair, okay? I wanted to kind of focus on the part where it says um, how to re-moisturize your crown. I have an option where it says long-term protective styles. If that apply to you, then you'll go with that option. And short-term protective hairstyles, okay? So right now, this is this is considered a long-term protective style. How you moisturize is what I'm about to show you right now. So there's four basic steps in, in this option. Step one, it says oil your scalp with H2 oil twice a week, okay? And that's what I am going to do now, okay? So this is my protective hairstyle. I think I had these twisted for like about, today is October 25th. So I think this week will make it three weeks. As you can see, I just wanted to give you a small update. <sighs> I cut my hair. I Well, I guess I cut my hair, okay? To me, I don't know. I don't recommend you trimming your hair when it's in its natural state because you know, you will accidentally cut your hair pretty much. So that's what I did. I accidentally cut my, not accidentally, but I needed a trim because my thins are a little um, thin. I mean, my thins are a little thin. My ends are thinning a little bit because um, my hair has not been the same after dealing with the well water, okay? Honestly, going way back, I've been dealing with hair issues since I gave birth to my son in 2018 and then dealing with the well water made it worse. I was going through postpartum shedding and that's normal you know, after you give birth. So three months after my hair started shedding, blah, blah, blah. The quality of my hair kind of changed after giving birth and then moving here made it even worse so i've been dealing with just hair issues ever since 2018 and we're in 2023 honey so so basically i am trying to repair my hair <clears throat> inside and out by protective styling by consistently moisturizing my hair and of course with these cards it just explains on how to do things when it comes to your hair, when it comes to washing, moisturizing, re-moisturizing, and basic tips in making the hair care journey effective. Okay, so, so that was a quick update on my hair. It got short, I, like the ends are flimsy. I still have to cut some more. Don't let the shrinkage fool you. It's still, it's still long, but it's, it's not the same. It's getting better. I'm using the distilled water to wash my hair from now on. And I've been using that since, because I had stopped since I've got the shop. I've been using it since probably like, it's been like three months now, three, four months. I got the shop in November. I was using the shop water, which was fine. But my hair, it was on and off when it came to like shedding and stuff. So I was like, mm, let me just consistently use the gallon water just in case. Pretty much I am just going to pick the option long-term hairstyle because that this is a long-term hairstyle so i am going to oil my scalp real quick okay the mirror is literally right in front of me so i'm oiling my scalp i had oil my scalp probably like two days ago so my scalp feel still felt a little moisturized but for the sake of this video i'm gonna just do it for you guys again it's not gonna hurt okay some people can get away with oiling their scalp twice a week. Some people can get away with oiling their scalp once a week, once a month, or at all. So it all depends on... Oh, snap. Hold on. Let me take this jewel out. It all depends on your hair, okay? So, you know, get to know your hair and see what it loves. Because some people scalp don't agree with oils just on their hair shaft. So it's all up to you, okay? I'm going to kind of wet it as well. My scalp and hair. Oh. Okay. And then I'm going to re-moisturize it, okay? The last time I re-moisturized it was three days ago. So this moisturizer I'm using, Kinky Curly Not Today. You can find that moisturizer at um, Sally's. I get mine from Target because it's a few cents cheaper. Yep. Mm -hmm. Trying to share the coins, honey, okay? It could be a penny cheaper. I don't care. 
Okay, moisturize your hair from root to tip. Okay, make sure you get all the little edges, the baby hairs. Alright. Okay. okay, make sure you get the ends. Especially your little small areas. Okay. Okay. I just find that doing twists makes my life so much easier. It's just easier. I do have it loose sometimes, like where I do like um, twist outs or buns and stuff like that. But I am a hairdresser, so majority of the time I do not have time to even do my own hair. So having these twists in. Um, is kind of necessary for my hair growth journey and for protection and also for my sanity okay that's don't know about time but yeah so these are my twists that's about it you can style it however you please okay I was doing a video earlier so I had style it into like a little bun thing and then hair you know whatever style it however you please honey okay i'm a basic chick so majority of the time i just have it in the ponytail because i don't go anywhere so like i don't go anywhere serious where i have to like style oh this is cute okay okay i'm going out of town next week and i'll contemplate whether or not i should take these twists out because you want to look fresh and stuff and a little cute so stay tuned for those pictures if i do take pictures i'm not good at taking pictures guys like i suck at it i'm not photogenic and at least i don't think so but whatever okay so yeah this is the style make sure you brush the bitty beads i don't know what brush there you go soft bristle brush you'll receive a brush in your um kit as well make sure you go get your kit it does have your loving your crown 101 in it okay okay and then it has your essentials in it okay where you can just grab and go to the next room or grab and go out of town or whatever everything should be in here make life easier for you okay so and of course you can add your conditioner in this pouch it's big enough to add your own leave-in conditioner it's big enough to add your own um jam gel or whatever so yeah it's very convenient and for the short-term protective style what i mean by that is basically like let's say if i have a bun in right for me, I would have to moisturize my hair at least every three to four days. I moisturize my hair day one. I put in a bun, right? Three days later, three, yeah, three to four days later, depending on the condition of your hair, if it feels dry, brittle, or whatever, you, or if you want to refresh in your bun, I would definitely recommend you do so after day four, three or four. So you take it out, spritz, 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 okay. Just imagine my hair is loose right now, okay? Ooh, my hair is big, it's loose. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Spray, spray, spray. Well, first, yeah, yeah, you spray it all over. I'm going to spray my hair just, you know, just, you know, just give you guys a visual. Spray my hair. My hair will be saturated, but, you know, it's all good. You don't want to spray too much, but enough. You don't want your um hair dripping. No, that's a no-no. So what I did was section my hair, okay? Section my hair with um, my fingers. And then if you have finer hair, then two sections should be okay. If you have thicker hair like myself, what I do is take it like this or use your clips, okay? Use your clips. My hair is long enough, so I just do it like a knot. Split it into four sections, all right? Okay, take that section. If you have to spray again, spray, 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 spray. Then get your white to comb. Where you at? Where you at? Hold on. Get your white to comb. This comes in your kit. Start with your um, ends first and make your way up. Or what I like to do that makes things easier, finger detangle real quick. Finger detangle. Make sure all the knots are gone. Not all of them will be gone, but, you know, some people finger detangle and that is it. But I do both, okay? Make sure the knots are gone. And then when you feel as though, like, a comb could run through it real quick. Take that comb. Uh, 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 uh. Take the comb. Okay. And then. Shoo, 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 shoo. 
Okay, that was the sound effect, like of me, like comb my hair and stuff. You get it? And then twist it out the way, clip it out the way, or boom, create a knot. Beam. Okay. Let that other section down. Over here is a lot wider and thicker, so I always split it into two. Okay. Finger detangle, take my comb, chain, chain. Oh, oh, sorry. Chain, 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 chain. Feel me? Then twist out the way or bantu knot it out the way or clip it out the way. Same here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, repeat steps. On the other side and then when you're done you just style your hair do a bun hold on hold on do a little bun that's my favorite hairstyle that's my go-to hairstyle because that's not i'm not gonna say that's the only thing i know how to do come on now. i know how to do other stuff but that's the first thing that popped in my head and that's what we're going with okay do a little bun let me see if i can create a cute little bun for you guys hold on hold on see Oh, she cute. Okay. Mm. Yes. Or you could put two down over here. Hold on. Got to be careful. I, this like lopsided. But <laughs> two down. Oh, yes. Okay. You do a high bun. That's my second favorite hairstyle. But I never could get my high buns right. Like, it's a hit or miss. But whatever. Do a high bun. You remember, my hair is loose, okay? This is, my hair is not in a twist, okay? Just imagine my hair is loose. Do a little bun. Okay, she cute, yay. You know, hair accessories will bring out any ugly hairstyle, okay? Not to say this style is ugly, but you know what I mean. I don't know where my, where my hair accessory at. Beam, okay, she cute. Oh, snap, hold on. Put in a bun. Oh yeah, she cute. Especially gold accessories be having the hairstyles be popping, you know. Okay. And I'm gonna give you one more look. Look, look. I like this bun though. Should I should I take it out? Okay. And of course you have to do your edges, okay? Do your edges. And inside the kit I do provide. Where you at? I do provide an edge scarf, so make sure you do your edges, tie your edge, edges down. I don't want to open this because this is for a client, but tie your hair down. I provide scrunchies as well, okay? Okay, but this is how it looks. Give me another style. This has been my go-to style. Remember, my hair is loose, all right? Okay. When I take this style out, I will definitely give you like a more detailed and visual look because a more realistic um, get ready with me or style options or whatever. Okay. Mm -mm. It's another look that I go for when I go to church. Okay, and I put like a little accessory back there sometimes. That's how you moisturize your hair. So stay tuned for other videos. I will definitely try to post more often because a lot of people has been asking me like what are you gonna post videos and stuff like that yo i got you okay the enemy he don't live here no more he don't live here no more honey god bless you guys make sure you guys always stay prayed up because we're living in a time where it's crucial okay it's crucial prayer is crucial i promise you once you find god in your life Yes, you'll go through down days. You'll feel sad here and there. But guess what? When you have Jesus Christ, honey, he will lift you right up. Okay? Shake it off. The enemy is just out there to devour. God's people, don't let him. There is peace in the name of Jesus. I promise you, you will never go back. So, so stay tuned for my next video. And as always, guys, be blessed. Deuces.